Our series, which started originally in 2015, which is all, it started off in New York, and because I was a trained photographer before I started painting, I always painted as a child, but then there was a period of kind of five or six years where I stopped all form of drawing and all painting, and that was just. So I started painting on my photographs, and then that moved on, and, and eventually, I, a year after finishing, I moved to New York. Um, still with the idea of painting on photographs, but I was more a photographer than a painter at that stage. Um, and New York was a kind of eye candy for anyone with a camera, anyone with anything. Um, and I remember walking around and taking hundreds and hundreds of photographs. And then there was, and I would always print, I didn't bring a laptop or anything, so I'd always print the photographs off. Um, and I remember just looking through them, looking through them, and I also had a sketchbook, and every day I'd go into a museum and draw kind of the masterpieces um, and then one day my sketchbook was full and I didn't know I didn't have any paper so I picked up one of these big boxes I had a big uh, box full of these um, 10 by 15 postcard sized um, photographs I'd taken of New York and I had maybe 500 at that point because I was just shooting constantly um, and then I just started to draw on one and then that one looked quite good and I tried another one and at this stage I was picking the bad photographs, but very quickly I started to pick the good photographs to draw on and then, and then like two days later I was obsessed. All I could do was take the photograph and then draw on top. Because it was, it was, I started to have this communication. The, they were all street photographs uh, and I'd eavesdrop and I'd hear everything in the streets, but then I wanted to put all of my kind of stigma, put it back onto them and, and change the whole perspective. So I'd cover people's heads and put masks on back in 2015, 14, um, because then their inhibitions would go away. They could do whatever they want. And the work was very satire based. They would shout in the streets and tell people to go fuck themselves. And, and the whole of New York was flooding, which <laughs> at some point it will. Um, so I had all this stigma and I felt like the, the photograph became a skeleton um, and I could just fill it in and change the story. And it was kind of, it, it was, well, it is a project I have very dear to my heart still because you can. It was it was so politically charged and so current and and something which was accessible for everyone. Um, but yeah, masks, ma and yeah, masks was well, the New York masks was a very special series, and now I do them in Berlin, and it's slightly different. The charge is slightly different um, because the New York ones I was just. I didn't have a studio, I was on the street. I was drawing in cafes and really in the street listening to everything. And yeah, it, was, it was more an obsession, I had to do it. It was, it was me being in a city where I didn't know anyone and I, had, I, was, a, I was a European in, a, in an American city. It, the social contrast was huge. The contrast of society was huge and I, and I had to I had to explain my version, and that was by drawing on these photographs and adding kind of these slogans and adding this element of like the film they see, where like you see beyond what the image says. Um, yeah, that's so. The 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 masks are super important.